All right, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> welcome back to Devastate underscore G1's second YouTube video ever. Uh, thank you for coming and watching. Um, today we're going to play a little bit of Armor 3 uh, Exile mod. Uh, now, Exile, uh, or Armor 3 in general, is a game that I played a lot of. Uh, I kind of took a break from it, and uh, Exile, the mod that we're playing for Armor 3, <coughs> recently had an update come out. Uh, so we're kind of getting back into it and checking it out and uh, I found that when I came back I was a little bit rusty I couldn't remember all the controls so I thought to myself uh, you know somebody new to the game would really be missing out a lot and not know a lot of what's going on uh, because <laughs> I played a lot of Orma and, and it, just from having a small break I kind of forgot some of the controls so I thought hey why not come back and make a uh, kind of a Orma 3 Exile Mod Basics uh, what are the controls? Some of the stuff you know the, the, that you might not know what on the map. So uh, we'll go over some of that, and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out. Uh, look at that, some loot spawn right in front of me there. All right. Uh, so so what is Exile? Uh, Exile is a mod for Armor 3. Uh, that's basically uh, a survival slash military sim. Um, basically you. you parachute into this island um, full of other people and, and you fight to survive you fight to build a base and, and to loot and and basically just just have fun with it while you're doing it uh, it's a real fun game um, and hopefully you guys will pick it up and enjoy it if you haven't already all right so we're quick we'll, we'll, we'll go uh, how, how do you get armor 3 obviously we got them you can get armor 3 off steam uh, to get exile mod you can you can go straight to uh, Exile the mod uh, or Exile's website. You can download it through there. You can get it through the Orma 3 launcher. Um, I downloaded it straight through the website, uh, but the Orma 3 launcher may be, may be the way to go for you because it's real simple to use. Um, so let's just, let's, just, let's just jump right into it. Let's go through what, what are we looking at right now. We'll go through the, the HUD, uh, then we'll go into some of the basic <coughs> controls. Uh, and we'll, we'll just see where that takes us. Uh, right, so first, looking looking at the the HUD, um, you notice obviously your person here with it holding his holding his weapon. Uh, let's go to the bottom left. Bottom left, uh, you have your hunger and your thirst. All right, you can see that my hunger is 53%. Uh, my thirst is 32%. Obviously, that does mean yes, there's hunger and thirst in this game, and if it gets down to zero, you will you will die. So you have to eat and drink, uh, and we'll go over kind of how to do that uh, a little bit later. Uh, so let's go bottom middle. Bottom middle right there we have a bunch of stuff going on. Right there on the left you have two people standing next to each other with a 54 next to it. That's the amount of people currently on the server, including myself. Uh, we actually have the cross there, 80%. That's my health. Uh, you hear I'm kind of huffing and, and wheezing a little bit because uh, I injured myself actually uh, driving a four-wheeler earlier. Uh, which we'll talk about. You have the X right there. That's your respect. Uh, I have 1,330. Uh, you get respect from killing people, from selling gear at the traders. Um, respect is used for a lot of stuff in Exile. Um, and and we'll go into that a little bit more in detail uh, after we get past the, the basic controls. Uh, right next to that, again, is my hunger. Uh, and then my thirst again and then the little clock right there on the far right at the bottom of that bar uh, 345 that's saying how long the server has till it goes down this server <laughs> it varies by server this server is on a four-hour schedule so it, it shuts down and restarts every four hours uh, as you see we're, we're just so 15 minutes ago it restarted uh, now we have three minutes or three hours and 44 minutes uh, until the next restart uh, all right, then further to the right, you see uh, my weapon information. Uh, at the top right there, you have RGO. That's my that's how many grenades I have currently. Okay, uh, you see I have two. I'm holding that one here and one here. Two grenades. All right, and the right below that, the ten. And zero ten. Uh, that's for <laughs> my main weapon that I'm holding, which is the Cyrus. All right. So I have ten rounds currently loaded with zero magazines. 
to replace that with, right? So 10 rounds in the chamber or in the weapon, zero magazines. I don't have a lot of ammo. 200 meters next to that, the 200M, that's what I'm currently ranged at. So if I were to shoot somebody or shoot at something, uh, right now it's saying that I'm ranged to shoot something that's 200 meters out. If I shoot something that's much further than that or much closer, then I'll probably miss uh, because my rifle is not ranged. This is, like I said, a, a military simulator, so there are actual uh, physics to the bullets. Uh, then right below that semi, that is my fire mode. Um, you know, it so varies by weapon. Some of them have semi, which means I have to click. Every time I click fire, it'll shoot one round. Uh, some of them have three round bursts. Some of them have full auto. Uh, and that, you know, you can see the difference. Semi auto, semi auto, automatic. All right. <clears throat> That's basically it for the HUD. Uh, so now we'll get to some of the basic controls, all right? Uh, I believe most of my controls are naturally how they come. Um, there are very few of them that I have modified, and I'll, I'll let you know that uh, when I get to them, hopefully. <clears throat> all right, so basically, uh, just like any shooter, you look around using your mouse, all right? Up, down, you can look around like that. W, A, S, D is your basic movement controls. W, forward, S, backwards, A, and D, strafing, strafing, left and right. Q will lean you to the left. E will lean you to the right. If you double tap it, you'll stay there. So I double tap you right, double tapped Q right here, so I'm staying leaning over. Hit it one more time, and I'll stop leaning. <clears throat> R will reload your weapon. All right. F will change your fire rate, all right, from semi to auto or whatever that weapon that you have is designed to do. So for this one particularly, it's semi and auto. So F is changing that. G throws whatever you have equipped as far as grenades go. As you see, I just threw a grenade and half deafened me. Um, so that's that. All right. X crouches you up and down. Z will lay you down into the prone. All right, let, let me go ahead and tell you this one control now so that we can... All right, the enter key on your numpad excuse me, will switch you from third and first person, all right? And we're going to go ahead and stay in third person from here on out. All right, so like I said, Z is to get up and down from the prone, all right? Now... There are some different variations we can do from the prone, all right, if you hold left control, all right? Left control and W while you're in the prone will bring you up to a sitting position. You tap it again, it'll slowly start raising you further and further up. This is good if you're behind a rock and you're trying to stay in cover. Now, from the standing position, if I hold left control and hit S, I will slowly start to drop back down. Alright, from all the way down. Now, if I hit it again while I'm down, I'll lay over on my side. Alright, and that's as far down as it'll go. These are just different shooting positions you can get. Alright, now from the prone, left control, A, will lay me out like this. Alright, if I do D, it'll bring me back, and D one more time to bring me all the way over. Those are just some of the different firing positions you can get in. Very helpful to know those. Alright. So, now, while I'm running forward, if I hold shift, I will sprint. Alright. Uh, on exile, there's no stamina, so you can basically sprint as long as you want to. Pretty simple. Alright. <clears throat> like I said before, the enter key on the numpad will switch you from first to second person. Alright. To access your inventory, it is usually I. I will access your inventory. I have changed that to the tab key because I already have my left hand on WSD. I can just reach up and hit tab and hurry up and open my inventory because this is what you're going to use to loot stuff as well. If you run up to a dead body or a vehicle or loot on the ground, such as this piece right here, I press the tab or I by default and it brings up the stuff on the ground. All right. Real quick, on the HUD, you can see I have... A canteen flashing, which means my thirst is getting low right here. Okay, so now that we have our inventory open, we'll go through inventory. All right, you can see on the left over here if you're looting something or if there's something on the ground in a vehicle, 
uh, see that says on the ground right here then it'll pop up on this side like right here there's a cordless screwdriver on the ground if what you're looting has pop tabs pop tabs are the currency in XL which you use to buy stuff it'll be down here and you can just select how many you want which would be all of them and you click it and it would transfer it over to your stuff which is on the right side there's a take all tab which will take everything off there and fit it into your stuff what will fit all right getting over into our side this is my inventory you see I right now have heli pilot coveralls on inside those heli pilot you can see that it's full because the bar is completely full I have one MRE alright if you hover over it it tells you what it does it gives you hunger or it it stops you from being hungry uh, plus 75 percent so if I eat that I'll, I'll get 75 percent up in hunger and it takes 60 seconds for it to go all the way into effect right here you see I have water and it tells you it's thirst plus 80 alright I am thirsty right now so I'm gonna go ahead and drink it to drink it you double click it you know you can look at the details the recipes what you can make with it so you can make coffee and all that um, which I'll get into crafting in another video so right now I'm just gonna hit consume I drink it you can see my thirst at the bottom going up now I'm now not thirsty anymore uh, okay again so we have our grenades and such now I'll go over to this is where your vest slide is or your belt or vest okay uh, you click on it and it'll show you what you I currently have equipped inside of that you can see there's just a little bit of a sliver of space left inside of here as we're hovering over you see this is a range master belt no armor alright so that's a good thing to point out that different items have different amount of inventory space they also provide different levels of armor so this provides no armor versus say I had a, a full vest with a plate in it a plate carrier vest that will have armor now there's a trade-off some of those with no armor or little armor carry more have more space than say a, a plate carrier vest which provides a lot of armor but maybe doesn't have the most carrying space so it's a trade-off you have to pick there and we have some different energy drinks uh, to, to help your thirst all right then we go to our backpack the same thing there's certain backpacks that carry more this is not the one that carries the most all right and again it shows you what I have inside of that down here are the pop tabs that I currently have on me uh, you can place the pop tabs in a, what's called a locker um, to save them so those are safe because right now if somebody killed me and I have pop tabs on me they could loot it and take it from me over here in the top right we have the slots for what's on basically our head all right now you see I have a helmet on it tells you what it is all right and these again provide different armor you can wear glasses or baklava stuff like that this is the slot for your MVGs or night vision goggles um, and this is the slide for the for whatever you're using to to see what's far away uh, a binocular or range finders uh, the difference is range finders actually give you the range so that you can sight in your weapon down here and get a better shot then you have your XM8, which we'll go over in a minute. Uh, it's basically just a almost like a smart device that you use in Orma to uh, or in Exile to, to control a lot of different stuff. Your map, your GPS, which helps you find yourself, your compass, and your radio. Right here, you have your main weapon slot. All right, and it tells you all about that weapon. You know, this is a Cyrus 9.3 millimeter. It's a marksman rifle. It tells you the type of magazines it carries. Use with it down here you have different slots to put different stuff right here is where you'd put a silencer if you if I had one I have a couple but they do not fit on this weapon they're not 9.3 all right right here is where you would put either your laser like a PEC 15 something like that uh, which you can see at night with MVGs or you put a flashlight so I'll put the flashlight on there this is for your bipod to stop your weapon sway to give you a lot more accurate shot this is where you put your scope let's see if I have picked up I don't have a lot of stuff on me guys I just died not too long ago and I was making the video so I don't have a scope but this is where you would put your scope and if I had a weapon that had say a grenade launcher on the bottom of it or something this is where the ammo for that would go and obviously right here is where the magazine for the weapon goes down here uh, is another weapon slot for say rocket launchers or axes or stuff like that that would go right here and then your secondary weapon your pistol or whatnot goes right here uh, if you ever have been in a, a combat situation and you're firing magazines, you're firing, you're not waiting till you get to, you know, I don't always wait till I run out of ammo to reload. I reload when I can. So 
So sometimes that puts me with a bunch of magazines, right, that are half filled. You can tell from the little white bar how much they have. As long as it's the same type of magazine and I have three or four that are half filled, I can hit combine and they'll combine it into many full magazines as they can. Alright, so that about covers inventory. Alright. Alright, so real quick, back on to, to controls. The, the, um, the key next to the one, I, forget, I, I can't remember what it's called for some reason. Right to the left of the one key on, the, on your, your keyboard. Um, if you type that, if you hit that, uh, if you look to the bottom left again, you see it scrolls through different information right there from your hunger to your health to the climate and your body temperature whichever one that you find most uh, convenient for you to have right there your one key will, will pull out your main weapon your two key will pull out your secondary weapon I don't use those very often All right. four will holster your weapon which allows you to run faster five you see to the right of my screen it's got a pair of earplugs coming up and down the five key puts earplugs in and out say you're riding in a helicopter uh, it gets really loud you can hit the five key that way you can still hear your friends talking and team speak or whatnot and it, it kind of just it doesn't completely mute the sound it just lowers it down all right your six key brings up your xm8 your xm8 is 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 is, is, is a that's that exile thing. All right. If you look in here, you have your kill to you know. I've got. I'm not killed anybody. I'm not died since the restart. This is how many pop tabs I have in my locker, not on me, but in my locker, so that they're safe. And this is how much respect I have. <clears throat> um, so I tell you, pop tabs you use to buy stuff. You buy your territory and all that. All right. And uh, respect you use again. You have to have enough. You get respect from killing people and selling stuff. Respect is used to buy, basically buy territory, so that you can build a base. Um, and it, you also, in, in exile, have to have enough enough respect built up to buy certain items at the trader, like sniper rifles and, and, and certain stuff that you use to build your base up with. All right, so we go to the 8G network right here. It has a list of people that are owned and have their have their self discoverable basically and let me show you what I mean by discoverable if you go to to more here settings you can turn this off where you your device is not shown on the network uh, but you can't be in a group if you do that but it won't show you as on here so right here say if I wanted if I had a friend on say you know Tupac was my friend which you know he, he is um, and I wanted to invite him to my party, I could. I would just click over his name, invite to party, or I can grant him rights within a territory that I own. For a party, right here, you come in, you set the name of your party up. You have to do this before you can invite people, and you host your party, all right? And then it now, see, I can invite Tupac to my party, uh, which would, would make that bitch off the chain. All right. Family, something we'll talk about later. Uh, territory, like I said, if you go to the main trader, which I'll show you on the map here in a minute, um, you can buy a territory, a territory flag, then you go somewhere on the map, you plant it down, and that'll be your, you can build a base there and that you own that territory. Uh, so a couple, the, the important thing here is it tells you what the radius is of your territory, which ours is 20, uh, the first one's 15, ours is level 2, so, uh, and how many parts you have on it right now. Uh, different servers, I believe, have different parts or different, you know, part limits. Then it tells you everybody that's online. It'll tell you their name uh, that has access to your territory. Now here's the most important part: protection money due. All right. When you buy a territory, it is not always and forever yours. You have to go back to where you bought it from and pay protection money to keep it safe, to keep it active. Uh, basically, that's just their way of of cleaning up the server so you know you don't have a hundred people get on and, and buy flags and make territory and then never play again and then that territory just stay there forever we're just gonna go back from that all right let's see oh, that one doesn't have the mobile xma sloth machine is a 
way for you to gamble your pop tabs. And then in here, uh, you have some different stuff. The store for this particular service. Uh, view distance. You can set up set your view distance up. Just keep in mind this is going to affect your uh, your frames, uh, but you don't want to have your view distance too low. You have view distance, object view, and shadow view. If you have it too low, then you won't be able to see stuff to it's right on top of you. If you have it too high, uh, and your your computer is not a beast, then you're going to get really crappy frames. Remote CCTV is where you can come to view. Your cameras, if you have them on your 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 house, all right. And then scan, you get to do once per lifetime. It'll tell me how many players within the 500 meter radius of you. All right. So first off, get when you first join the server, you're gonna have to right press six, and this is gonna come up. You turn this on. Go to more. Go to settings, and make it to where you can show yourself. If you're trying to party up, put it where it shows you on there. Okay. And then you can change some of your 3D party icons and name tags and stuff, see? So, fool around with that. I'm not going to stay too much more into this one. Hit escape to back out of that screen. Uh, last important key on the numpad. Uh, I have it set to 9. Uh, but if you go into your configurations and you go to control. Well, let me show you what it is first. You see that, what I'm putting... That is one of the most helpful things you can have if you're playing in a group and you're trying, you know, trying to tell your friends where you see somebody at. So instead of saying, I see him over there by this town, you know, it's about 100 meters in front of me, there's a broken wall, I can simply look at where I'm trying to look and press the number for me, it's 9, the 9 key. And they, all my friends in my group can see that marker and they know exactly what I'm talking about. So to set that up, Hit escape, go to configure, go to controls, right here, go down to, I believe it's custom controls, yes, and user action 2, and set that up, to whatever key you want it to be, and when you press that, it will greatly enhance your team's ability to engage and kill the enemy, uh, because communication is key. Alright, so, let's go into the map, press M for the map. And my God, we see a lot of stuff going on. First off, let's go really simply into some details about the map. Each of these squares is one kilometer or 1,000 meters. Um, so, and to read off, if I want to tell somebody I'm trying to look at this location, there's, you know, back in the day before they started having a lot of different ways to put markers on the map, you had to tell them your grid coordinates, which you do so by going with the bottom numbers first. Like if I wanted to give the grid coordinate for the bandit trader here, I would say he is approximately at, go to the bottom, follow this line down, grid coordinates 22, then go to the right, 21, because he's almost on that. I would just say that, 22, 21, but that's not exactly right, because he's actually in this grid square. If I wanted to give this grid square, I would say 21, 21 as it are, so right there. That puts you within a thousand meters of where you're going. Now, that's a four digit grid coordinate. If you want to go further, just scroll in. And now it's going to give us six digits, which puts us into the square is now a hundred meters, okay? So you can see that that is 219, 210. He is in that vicinity, the building in that vicinity. Alright. Now, there's a couple of different views you can have. Obviously, if we go up to the, to the right up here. You can hit this, and that centers the map on you, which you can see yourself on here. This toggles the map texture. This would be more like a satellite view, uh, and this would be your traditional map view right here, uh, which shows a lot of uh, the... I, I, I like to keep it on this one because it shows me the, uh, the terrain features. Like I know right here, this is a fairly steep hill, uh, and it's kind of high because you can see... The, the the lines right here the lines the closer those lines are together the more steep the the rise is and it's rising inward and I know that these are the crest of those hills so I know that if I want to overlook this town I can come up here onto this hill and get one of these high spots and I can probably see everything that's on that town alright so some more things on the map exile specific 
we see a bunch of things the pacifier right here with the circle around it ignore the circle for this one just look at the pacifier and you know that this is a spawn zone whenever I die or I fresh join the server I can pick the town of Sophia to spawn in and I will jump out of an airplane right here and parachute down the pop tab the right here this means this is a trader traders are off of safe zones and they have the black circle around them and that is the radius of the safe zone this is where I come to buy equipment and vehicles and such uh, right here we have a bandit trader he has some stuff that's not available at the other trader like explosives and whatnot uh, but this is not a safe zone so you may get shot when you go there this cement mixer right here for a, this means that right here on the map this is not a safe zone again okay there's no just circles just there that's why I can come to uh, mix up cement all right you need cement uh, once you start building and you want to upgrade to a little bit stronger building material past wood you need cement so you got to go there this is the main safe zone right here this is where you come to buy respect at the the main terminal the main airport not buy respect I'm sorry this is where you come to buy your flag to set down for your territory and to pay uh, the, the uh, protection money for it that is basically it for for the map for the most part uh, alright if I say I want to tell my I want to mark a location on the map I can double click it and right here my description I can type in what's going on or what I'm marking right here I can pick who sees it alright basically if you pick global or side channel everybody on the everybody anybody in the server can see where you're at so or see what you're marking pick group channel so your friends can see it hit OK and it marks that for you alright uh, now you can go to players is the other thing that's useful here go to players and it'll show you everybody that's on the server whether or not they have their XM8 turned on or not you can see that if they're on alright let's see let's go really quickly into some weapons alright so we see I have my weapon um, obviously uh, left click on my mouse is gonna fire that weapon right <coughs> click is gonna to have me looking down my sights if I hold in right click it'll zoom me in okay uh, alright so let's say right now you see at the bottom right I'm ranged for 200 meters and let's say what I'm shooting at is much further than 200 meters say it's 500 meters well if I shoot and I'm ranged at 200 meters I'm probably gonna miss so the page up and page down key by default change as you see it on the bottom right it's changing change what I'm what I'm uh what I'm set to shoot at the distance I'm set to shoot um, different scopes and different sites change and, and to out to different things this one only goes out to 600 because I'm on iron sights what I did was because I, I if I have my right hand on the mouse and I'm aiming and I'm trying to shoot somebody and I need to quickly adjust my elevation or, or you know my distance that I range to shoot I don't want to take my hand off my mouse alright so I went into the controls and I changed it to where left shift and Q at the same time will range me down right and left Q and E will range me up that's where my fingers are naturally in a way it, it lets me do it you know a lot much more quicker alright again like I said F changes your fire mode all right, and uh, last thing in if you have night vision goggles or if you're in a scope that has night vision or thermals in will change between night vision thermal and regular view uh, B if you have binoculars or rangefinder will pull out those uh, so I think we covered everything that I wanted to cover for the basics here uh, if you guys like this video or if I get enough views on it it's worth the time uh, I'll do a couple more more in detail kind of tactics videos or uh, I'll go over vehicles or, or, or how to build uh, and stuff like that one last thing probably oh, the scroll wheel option gives you a lot of options if you're coming up to doors or like if I have a I have a mine in my backpack I can place it out like I said uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see some different stuff uh, other than that thanks for tuning in like and subscribe if you liked it uh, I'll see y'all in the next video